Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games, I'm Lee, and in this video we'll be taking a look at issue 1 of the new Warhammer Imperium magazine. Here we go, who's issue 1 of the new Warhammer 40,000 Imperium magazine, and I subscribed to this with Hatchet Partworks, but I couldn't wait for that to be delivered, so I saw this in my local newsagents and picked up two copies. It's only two ninety nine each. You get loads included. I thought it'd be awesome to have some extra miniatures. You can never have too many Primaris lieutenants. So now I've got two sets here and one on the way in the post. I can't wait for that. So in this video, I'll do a little unpacking and we'll have a flick through so you can see everything that's included. I'll build the models so you can see what they look like all assembled. And this should hopefully give you an idea of what this collection's all about. And then it'll help you decide if this is something that you'd like to add to your game collection. So I'm pretty sure if you get this delivered from Hatchet Partworks, it's going to come in a smaller packaging. I mean, this only just fits in view of the camera. My tripod's as high as it'll go, but this is huge. You can see here, this is A4, so it's really big. And when I was in the news agents, this was literally the biggest magazine on display, so you couldn't miss it. And um, yeah, loads on included in it. You can see from the front exactly what's in there. Two miniatures, you're going to get a Royal Warden, a Primaris Lieutenant, and you're going to get a ruler and some dice, some other things as well. And then on the back, it just tells you a kind of overview of what it's all about. And then it's really pushing you to pick up issue two and also subscribe to get some bonus goodies that are included. So I think it really is a, a good value thing to do. If you're into the Space Marines or the Necrons, then you can't go wrong. And if you're new to the hobby, I think this is a really good way to start. And um, I'm really looking forward to getting this delivered uh, every four weeks. You'll get four copies delivered if you sign up to the subscription service. And so it's really fun to get delivered through the door. I get the Mortal Realms already for Age of Sigmar, and that's awesome. I'm so happy with that. So to get a 40K version is really cool, especially with Kill Team just released. So anyway, let's get started, get this open, and we'll take a look at all the contents. All right, I started recording, taking it off the card, but it was just like really stuck on really well. So I figured I'll take it all off, and then we can have a, a better look, and that's gonna speed things up a bit. So we get the models in here, and you're going to get two sprues. So in, when they did the last um, Warhammer 40k subscription magazine, you got a lot more models. And the same with the Mortal Realms. I think in the first issue, you got nine, if I'm thinking right, nine models. But you get two in this one. But I think that's a bad thing, because they are pretty good. So you got the Royal Warden and the Lieutenant sprues, which I'll have a close look at in a second. So we get six little tiny dice and two bases. Then here we've got the magazine itself, and this is going to have lots included in it. So let's get this open, and we can have a really good look. It comes with a little measuring ruler, so you start collecting loads of these with all the different games. So handy to have though, so you get one of those, the 12-inch ruler. And then let's get all this out of here, get rid of this packaging. And then we're going to get the actual magazine itself, plus this poster. You're also going to get a little additional piece of information which is uh what's this called imperial task force so this is going to tell you all about some of the law and one of the first battle of megaria so a little bit of reading through there of narrative to get you into the mood and then you get this little map just to start you off with the first few miniatures and so this is like an a3 when you fold it out double-sided and this is going to get you started so this is all you need to start playing learning the rules and the magazine is going to take you through the rules step by step and learning how to play Warhammer 40k right from the beginning so there we go so we've got the little mat which is nice to have that little bit of information to read the poster which I'll unfold and show you next and then we'll have a look through the magazine Okay, here's the poster. So I put that up on the wall so you can see what it looks like. Really fun to have in your room, your game room, whatever. I think it looks really cool. But on the other side, as you flip it over, you get tons of information. And this tells you all about the premium subscription that we're going to go through later. And loads of other information showing you everything you're going to get. It kind of lays out this idea of what they focus on in the magazine, which is to collect, read, build, paint and play. So that's the five core principles of what this is all about really and so that really sets the scene for what you can expect and then down here at the corner the left hand side bottom corner you can see that this shows you everything that you can collect and if you go to Fohammer 
www.thepodcastmag.com it'll put you a list of all the different issues and what's included and he updates it as he finds out more information so a really great website and i can highly recommend checking that out but it looks like there's a ton of stuff to come here and it looks really awesome you get terrain miniatures you build these two huge armies and if you go premium you're gonna get a load of other miniatures too Okay, so here's the magazine that you get, and this will also come with some binders. You get one free at the beginning if you sign up for the subscription between issues one to four, and then you keep all these in the ring binders. And then throughout the subscription service, you get some extra ring binders, but they'll charge you for those. So if you don't want those, it's really important to let them know. Just give them a call and say you don't want the extra ones that you have to pay for, and then you can cancel that part of the subscription, no problem at all. But this is the magazine and so let's have a look through so you can see what it's all about and so this is the first one I've never had a Warhammer 40,000 subscription before so I'm really looking forward to this and can't wait to get it delivered every week but here we're going to find out about the Primaris Lieutenant the Royal Warden then we're going to learn about the Space Marines the Necrons and the War for Ramesses and then here we're going to find out more about how to build the Primaris Lieutenant and Royal Warden and then a paint guide for them, and then a little bit of a playthrough. So that's the kind of format they're going with, which looks really cool. And here you can see you get a really good introduction to the miniature that's included in the issue. And this just looks great. It tells you all about the different components. And so really great photos, loads of detail, and also brilliant references to paint yours from. So really good information. You're also going to get one for the Royal Warden as well. And then a little battle record here, so you can get started filling out exactly what weapons your fighters have and then everything else you need for your battle that you'll do a little playthrough of later on. And this is where the magazine really stands out. You start to learn the lore a little bit at a time. So instead of buying the big book that comes with the game and having to like start from getting read through and it's quite daunting, this is cool because you just get drip fed little bits of information that really introduce you to the world and the universe you're playing in, which I think is really fun. And then each issue is going to probably introduce us to more chapters within the Space Marines. Again, great references for painting. You find out the lore about some of these, so you can decide maybe to paint your army in a different way and build some kind of narrative around it. So that's really fun. And then the same with the Necrons, going to introduce us to that. I'll show you these little bits in a minute because that's quite interesting. But here we've got the How to Build Guide. And I find these How to Build Guides really good, often better than the books you'll get. So they are really great, really detailed. And the paint guides are fantastic. High quality, close-ups, really great for beginners. They do focus on painting in the traditional way. So if you want to use contrast paints like I use, then this isn't really going to help you. But if you want to learn how to paint the traditional way, then this is going to be really, really helpful. So as the issues develop, you'll get paint guides for the miniatures that are released. So I think in this one, it's just a, like an introduction to the painting. So you're not actually going to get any paint guide in this issue but as you get the later issues it'll show you exactly how to paint these and then we're going to get on to more information really about how to play the game so now we're on to the playthrough section and so this is going to introduce you to all the different components and a real like good uh, explanation of how it works so we've got these little tokens and objective markers and things like that it sets a little bit of a narrative scene so we know what we're fighting over and then goes through the rules, the setup. And this is really helpful. Trying to learn the rules from a book is often pretty difficult because there's so many rules to these games. But doing it like this, where you just learn with one miniature and then you start adding more miniatures as new, new issues are released is a really good way to learn. So I think this is going to be really fun. I'm not really interested in playing Warhammer 40k. I'm into Kill Team in a big way now since the new game came out for Octarius. And I'll be using a lot of this in Kill Team. But I really like the idea of building these big armies. I think it'd be really fun to build them and paint them. And I think with all the different space marines you're going to get, and also factions within it, you're not just getting space marines. You're going to get the other sisters of battle and some other ones. So, you know, it's really cool to build up the collection. And I think it's really fun. So I'll be doing that. And I'm thinking almost going traditional with my space marines and going with the, the blue color as well. So I think that'd be really awesome. But here we go, here's the playthrough with all the rules and everything you need to get started. And I think this is really well detailed and a really good introduction to the game. 
So, I mean, me and my boy will probably give it a go and we'll have a game, certainly with the miniatures included here. But I think once it starts getting to a big scale, we'll probably just stick to Kill Team. But I think this is fun to learn anyway as we go. And it's good to have an understanding of the main game too. And then on the back, it usually tells you what's coming in the next two issues. So in issue two, we're going to get some Necron Warriors. And in issue three, we're going to get some Assault intercessors so some really good ones on the way also with some paint so i think this is where we're going to start to see those paint guides coming in in issues two and three and i'll be doing videos for every single issue of this as it's released so within the magazine we also got these little marketing slips so this is just going to encourage you to sign up to the subscription and this is going to give you a lot of information if you sign up from issue one two three or four then you also get this free modeling kit as well and you're going to get lots of other goodies included so as we open it up here you can see that you get um, the modeling kit then you get a free binder with your third delivery with your fourth delivery you're going to get paints and with your fifth delivery you're going to get this painting handle now the delivery is every four weeks or like pretty much once a month i suppose so it's going to take five months until you get up to the painting handle and then in the seventh month you'll get some high quality art prints so it's not the seventh issue it's the seventh delivery and you get four issues per delivery i've done a video on what this is all about separately so if you want to find out a lot more about the subscription service and the benefits of it then that's up on the channel already and there's also a way you can sign up and get some extra models by going for the premium subscription which is an extra two pound per issue so usually this is going to be well this one was 2.99 but usually it's um 8.99 i believe and then so if you pay an extra two pound that's 10.99 per issue but over the time you're going to get all these other miniatures here the chaos space marines the tyranids tau empire and orcs so if you're interested in collecting those then that's a good way to do it so i've gone for the premium subscription again for kill team i think this is going to be good because we get some models for the tau empire chaos space and tyrians are good you can never have too many orcs i think that's really fun and so this could be good for kill team i haven't gone through the compendium completely and matched it up with this yet but that might be a good idea for another video um but i'm hoping that these will work in kill team the new rules so there we are so if you want to find out more about this and that premium subscription check out my other video and also take a look at fauxhammer.com a great website that goes super in detail about Warhammer Imperium and also Mortal Realms. So if you're more into Age of Sigmar, that might be a good idea too. I'll put a link to fauxhammer.com in the description below. Brilliant website, and it's really helped me out a lot. Right, I've zoomed in a little bit closer just to show you the sprues. And here you can see we've got some really nice models here. Loads of details we'd expect by now and um, looking awesome. And now what I'll do is I'll go away, get these built, and then you can see them all put together and get a good idea of what the models look like once they're off the sprue and assembled. And here we go, they're all assembled, and these just look awesome. Two great miniatures to get this collection started, and they're certainly not cheaper versions or anything like that. They're proper miniatures that you would get if you buy the games. They are push fit, so you don't need to glue them, but I'd recommend gluing them, especially if you want to paint them and keep them looking really nice and getting those seals nice and tight really good to glue them together but for 2.99 i don't think you can go wrong even just the miniatures for 2.99 is crazy but with all the other stuff i think it's a really fun collection to start and build up and just getting it delivered every four weeks is awesome getting it to the door and then you can unpack it start building it start learning the game and building two awesome armies i think is really fun i hope this video has given you a good idea of what issue one is all about and if you want to find out more about the imperium subscription magazine then check out my other video that i've done recently for this and i go into loads of detail about where to order it what it's all about how much it's going to cost and things like that so i'll put a link to that in the description and also i'll link to it at the end of this video so you can check that out right away if you'd like to i hope you enjoyed the video and i love getting stuff like this i'm a big kid where this is concerned and today was really cool because i brought this home and then me and my boy built the models together which is always really fun and so yeah i can highly recommend getting this especially if you're a fan of warhammer 40k or you're new and want to learn how to play it but thanks so much for watching please like if you like it subscribe for new videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on tabletop skirmish games if you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there.